Ames is a city in Story County, Iowa, United States, located approximately 30 miles north of Des Moines in central Iowa. It is best known as the home of Iowa State University, with leading agriculture, design, engineering, and veterinary medicine colleges. A United States Department of Energy National Laboratory, Ames Laboratory, is located on the ISU campus. In 2020, Ames had a population of 66,427, making it the state's ninth largest city. Iowa State University was home to 33,391 students as of fall 2019, which make up approximately one half of the city's population. Ames also hosts United States Department of Agriculture sites, the largest federal animal disease center in the United States, USDA's Agricultural Research Services National Animal Disease Center. As well as, one of two national USDA sites for the Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service, which comprises the National Veterinary Services Laboratory and the Center for Veterinary Biologics. Ames also hosts the headquarters for the Iowa Department of Transportation. The city was founded in 1864 as a station stop on the Cedar Rapids and Missouri Railroad and was named after 19th century U.S. Congressman Oaks Ames of Massachusetts, who was influential in the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. Ames was founded by local resident Cynthia Olive Duff and railroad magnate John Inslee Blair, near a location that was deemed favorable for a railroad crossing of the Skunk River. Ames is located along the western edge of Story County, roughly 30 miles north of the state capital. Des Moines, near the intersection of Interstate 35 and U.S. Route 30. A smaller highway, U.S. Route 69, passes through the town. Also passing through Ames is the cross-country line of the Union Pacific Railroad and two small streams. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 24. 27 square miles, of which 24. 21 square miles is land and 0. 06 square miles is water. Campus Town is the neighborhood directly south of Iowa State University's central campus bordered by Lincoln Way on the north. Campus Town is a high-density mixed-use neighborhood that is home to many student apartments, nightlife venues, restaurants, and numerous other establishments, most of which are unique to Ames. Ames has a humid continental climate. On average, the warmest month is July and the coldest is January. The highest recorded temperature was 102 degrees Fahrenheit in 1988 and the lowest was minus 28 degrees Fahrenheit in 1996. The population of Ames, Iowa from U.S. Census data as of the census of 2010, there were 58,965 people, 22,759 households, and 9,959 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,435. 6 inhabitants per square mile. There were 23,876 housing units at an average density of 986. 2 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 84. 5% white, 3. 4% African American, 0. 2% Native American, 8. 8% Asian, 1. 1% from other races, and 2. 0% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 3. 4% of the population. There were 22,759 households, of which 19. 1% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 35. 6% were married couples living together, 5. 4% had a female householder with no husband present, 2. 7% had a male householder with no wife present, and 56. 2% were non-families. 30. 5% of all households were made up of individuals, and 6. 2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2. 25 and the average family size was 2. 82. The median age in the city was 23. 8 years. 13. 4% of residents were under the age of 18, 40. 5% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 22. 9% were from 25 to 44, 15% were from 45 to 64, and 8. 1% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 53. 0% male and 47. 0% female. As of the census of 2000, there were 50,731 people, 18,085 households, and 8,970 families residing in the city. The population density was 2,352. 3 people per square mile. 
there were 18,757 housing units at an average density of 869.7 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 87. 34% white, 7. 70% Asian, 2. 65% African American, 0. 04% Native American, 0. 76% Pacific Islander and other races, and 1. 36% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were one. 98% of the population. There were 18,085 households, out of which 22. 3% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 42. 0% were married couples living together, 5. 3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 50. 4% were non-families. 28. 5% of all households were made up of individuals, and 5. 9% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2. 30 and the average family size was 2. 85. Age spread, 14. 6% under the age of 18, 40. 0% from 18 to 24, 23. 7% from 25 to 44, 13. 9% from 45 to 64, and 7. 7% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 24 years. For every 100 females, there were 109. 3 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 109. 9 males. The median income for a household in the city was $36,042, and the median income for a family was $56,439. Males had a median income of $37,877 versus $28,198 for females. The per capita income for the city was $18,881. About 7.6% of families and 20.4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 9.2% of those under age 18 and 4.1% of those age 65 or over. Location of the Ames Boone CSA and its components, Ames Metropolitan Statistical Area Boone Micropolitan Statistical Area The U.S. Census Bureau designates the Ames MSA as encompassing all of Story County. While Ames is the largest city in Story County, the county seat is in the nearby city of Nevada, 8 miles east of Ames. Ames Metropolitan Statistical Area combined with the Boone, Iowa Micropolitan Statistical Area make up the larger Ames Boone Combined Statistical Area. Ames is the larger principal city of the combined statistical area that includes all of Story County, Iowa, and Boone County, Iowa, which had a combined population of 106,205 at the 2000 census. Ames is home of Iowa State University of Science and Technology, a public land grant and space grant research university, and member of the prestigious Association of American Universities. At its founding in 1858, Iowa State was formerly known as the Iowa State College of Agriculture and Mechanic Arts. Ames is the home of the closely allied U.S. Department of Agriculture's National Animal Disease Center, the U.S. Department of Energy's Ames Laboratory, and the main offices of the Iowa Department of Transportation. State and federal institutions are the largest employers in Ames. Other area employers include a 3M manufacturing plant, Danfoss Power Solutions, a hydraulics manufacturer, Barilla, a pasta manufacturer. Ball, a manufacturer of canning jars and plastic bottles, Warkiva, a global cloud computing company, Renewable Energy Group, America's largest producer of biomass-based diesel, and the National Farmers Organization. The Iowa State University Research Park is a not-for-profit, business development incubator located in Ames, and affiliated with Iowa State University. In 2015, Ames was ranked in the top 15 cities that have done the best since the recession by Bloomberg Businessweek. The Bureau of Labor Statistics ranked Ames and Boulder, Colorado as having the lowest unemployment rate of any metropolitan area in the U.S. in 2016. By June 2018, unemployment in Ames had fallen even further, to 1.5%, and wage increases for workers were not keeping pace with rising rents. According to Ames's 2020 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top employers in the city are, Velma Wallace Reynas Ames, Iowa was home to Gerard M. and Velma Wallace Reynas. Both artists taught art and were nationally recognized artists. Their art was exhibited nationally as well as abroad. Gerard died in the 1940s. Velma Wallace Reynas died in 1977. Velma Wallace Reynas usually signed her paintings VW Reynas. 
The Iowa State Cyclones play a variety of sports in the Ames area. The Iowa State Cyclones football team plays at Jack Trice Stadium in Ames. Also, the Cyclones men's and women's basketball teams and volleyball team play at Hilton Coliseum just across the street from Jack Trice Stadium. The Iowa State Cyclones are a charter member of the Big 12 Conference in all sports and compete in NCAA Division 1A. The Iowa State women's tennis is also well known and very successful. The Ames Figure Skating Club provides recreational to professional level skating opportunities. The club sponsors the Learn to Skate program. Coaches provide on and off ice lessons or workshops. The club hosts the figure skating portion of the Iowa Games competition every summer. In the fall the club hosts Cyclone Country Championships. The Ames ISU Ice Arena also hosts the Iowa State Cyclones hockey team. The arena also hosts the Ames Little Cyclones hockey program for high school students and children in elementary or middle school. Much of the city is served by the Ames Community School District. A portion of northern Ames is zoned to the Gilbert Community School District. Ames High School, grades 9 to 12 Gilbert CSD students are zoned to Gilbert High School. Iowa State University of Science and Technology, more commonly known as Iowa State University, is a public land grant and space grant research university located in Ames. Iowa State University is the birthplace of the Atanasoff Berry Computer, the world's first electronic digital computer. Iowa State has produced a number of astronauts, scientists, Nobel laureates, and Pulitzer Prize winners. Until 1945 it was known as the Iowa State College of Agriculture and Mechanic Arts. The university is a member of the American Association of Universities and the Big 12 Conference. Memorial Union, Iowa State College, 1940 ISU is the nation's first designated land-grant university in 1856. The Iowa General Assembly enacted legislation to establish the State Agricultural College and Model Farm. Story County was chosen as the location on June 21, 1859, from proposals by Johnson, Kossuth, Marshall, Polk, and Story Counties. When Iowa accepted the provisions of the Morrill Act of 1862, Iowa State became the first institution and nation designated as a land-grant college. The institution was coeducational from the first preparatory class admitted in 1868. The formal admitting of students began the following year, and the first graduating class of 1872 consisted of 24 men and two women. The first building on the Iowa State campus was Farm House. Built in the 1860s, it currently serves as a museum and national historic landmark. Today, Iowa State has over 60 notable buildings, including Beardshire Hall, Morrill Hall, Memorial Union, Cat Hall, Curtis Hall, Carver Hall, Parks Library, the Campanile, Hilton Coliseum. C.Y. Stevens Auditorium, Fisher Theater, Jack Trice Stadium, Lyde Recreation Center, numerous residence halls, and many buildings specific to ISU's many different majors and colleges. The official mascot for ISU is Cy the Cardinal. The official school colors are cardinal and gold. The Iowa State Cyclones play in the NCAA's Division 1A as a member of the Big 12 Conference. Ames is also served by stations in the Des Moines media market, which includes Clear Channel's 50,000-watt talk station WHO, music stations Kazer, KDRB, KGGO, KKDM, KHKI, KIA, KJJY, KRNT, KSPZ and KSTZ, talk station KWQW, and sports stations KXNO and KXNO-FM. Like radio, Ames is served by the Des Moines media market. Woy DT, the ABC affiliate in central Iowa was originally owned and operated by Iowa State University until the 1990s. The station is still licensed to Ames, but studios are located in West Des Moines. Other stations serving Ames include KCCI, Caden TV, WHODT, KCWI TV, KDMI, KDSM TV and KFPX TV. Channel 12 is owned by the City of Ames and overseen by the City Manager's Office. The channel broadcasts meetings for city council as well as other city government councils and boards. Channel 12 also produces its own original content focused on news and other happenings in Ames. Channel 12 has won various regional and national awards including a NATOA Government Programming Award and a Tele Award. Channel 12's goals are to provide quality programming to the citizens of Ames that educates and informs about city government issues and to provide live coverage and rebroadcasts of council and commission meetings. Channel 16 serves as Ames Public Access TV channel. 
The purpose of Ames Public Access TV is to provide residents the opportunity to broadcast locally produced programs on cable television. A PAT provides cable casting of non-commercial. Public access programming independently produced by professionals or non-professionals in either a VHS or DVD format. This service is provided on a first-come first-served. Non-discriminatory, non-monopolistic basis. Other services include video messaging to serve as a community calendar. City power plant at night blows steam into the air. The town is served by U.S. Highways 30 and 69 and Interstate 35. Ames is the only town in Iowa with a population of greater than 50,000 that does not have a state highway serving it. As of 2019, Ames currently has three roundabouts constructed on University Avenue 530 TH Avenue. The first is at the intersection of Airport Road and University Avenue, the second at the intersection of Cottonwood Road and 530th Avenue and the third at Collaboration Place and 530th Avenue. Ames was serviced by the Fort Dodge, Des Moines and Southern Railroad via a branch from Kelly to Iowa State and to downtown Ames. The tracks were removed in the 1960s. The Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company Twin Main Line runs east and west bisecting the town and running just south of the downtown business district. The C and NW used to operate a branch to Des Moines. This line was removed in the 1980s when the spine line through the nearby city of Nevada was purchased from the Rock Island Railroad after its bankruptcy. The Union Pacific, successor to the C and NW, still runs 60 to 70 trains a day through Ames on twin main lines, which leads to some traffic delays. There is also a branch to Eagle Grove that leaves Ames to the north. The Union Pacific maintains a small yard called Ames Yard east of Ames between Ames and Nevada. Ames has been testing automatic train horns at several of its crossings. These directional horns which are focused down the streets are activated when the crossing signals turn on and are shut off after the train crosses the crossing. This system cancels out the need for the trains to blow their horns. Train noise had been a problem in the residential areas to the west and northwest of downtown. Ames Municipal Airport is located one mile southeast of the city. The current fixed base operator is Haps Air Service, a company which has been based at the airport since 1975. The airport has two runways, 0119, which is 5,700 by 100 feet, and 1331, which is 3,492 by 100 feet. The city of Ames offers a transit system throughout town, called SciRide, that is funded jointly by Iowa State University, the ISU government of the student body, and the city of Ames. Rider fares are subsidized through this funding, and are free for children under 5. Students pay a set cost as part of their tuition. In 2009, the Ames Metropolitan Statistical Area ranked as the third highest in the United States for percentage of commuters who walk to work. Ames has the headquarters of the Iowa Department of Transportation. Ames is served by Mary Greeley Medical Center, a 220-bed regional referral hospital which is adjacent to McFarland Clinic PC. Central Iowa's largest physician-owned multi-specialty clinic, and also Iowa Heart Center. On September 10, 2019 the City of Ames proposed a $29 million bond for building a fitness center called the Healthy Life Center. Iowa State University owns the land it was built on. This is a list of notable people associated with Ames, Iowa arranged by career in alphabetical order. No. One best U.S. job market no. One best college towns in America no. 1 Top Cities for Career Opportunities in 2018 No. 2 Top 10 Best College Towns Top 5 Small Metro Areas for Retirees to Age Successfully The Most Fitness-Friendly Places of 2018 Best Public High School in the State Technology Community of the Year Top 5 Small Metro Areas for Successful Aging Top 3 Cities Where Job Growth is Happening Best School District in Iowa Best School District in the State No. 8 of the 25 best cities for entrepreneurs best places to live 2016 best small cities for new grads most charitable cities no. 9 of the top 10 college towns to live in top 10 cities for career opportunities in 2016 no. 3 healthiest cities in America best college in Iowa, Iowa State University no. 3 best college towns in America no. 5 medium city of top U.S. cities for public transportation U.S. city with the lowest unemployment rate no. 4 Best Small City to Make a Living No. 35 of the Top 100 Best Places to Live in 2016 No. 3 Best Performing Small Cities, Where America's Jobs Are Created and Sustained List No. 8 Best Cities in America to Get a Job in 2015 No. 1 of the 15 Cities that Have Done the Best Since the Recession Top 25 Nationally, Best Places for STEM Grads No. 
8 Best Towns for Millennials in America No. 1 Best College Town in 2014 and 2010, Ames was ranked 9th on Kamuni's Best Places to Live list. Iowa is a political battleground state that has trended slightly Republican in recent years, and Ames, like Iowa City, trends Democratic. Iowa is the first caucus state and Ames is a college town. It is the site of many political appearances, debates and events, especially during election years. From 1979 through 2011, Ames was the location of the Ames Straw Poll, which was held every August prior to a presidential election year in which the Republican presidential nomination was undecided. The poll would gauge support for the various Republican candidates amongst attendees of a fundraising dinner benefiting the Iowa Republican Party. The straw poll was frequently seen by national media and party insiders as a first test of organizational strength in Iowa. In 2015, the straw poll was to be moved to nearby Boone before the Iowa Republican Party eventually decided to cancel it altogether. Thanks for watching.